Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com and today I'm going to talk to you about privacy. So a lot of people get really nervous about sharing their story on social media and adding new people to their network and not wanting maybe to show their family or their kids or where they are on vacation or what their house looks like or where they live, but they want to show their product and their story. So how do you do that? How do you add new people to your network, but not like, you know, feel like you're jeopardizing your safety or your privacy, for example? So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how you can do that. So I'm gonna go right here to my page, and I'm gonna pick up something, um, you know, just a random picture that, that I have on here, um, right in my, just my YouTube cover photos. And um, as you can see, this picture is uploading and I can just write like, hi there, I'm not actually gonna upload it. And right now this post is set to public, that's my default setting. But you can set your post to friends or only you can see it. And this is really the key here, this more options. So you're gonna click on more options and then you're gonna hit custom. And you can do, share with friends right because that'll share with your friend network and then you can say don't share with and you can add people or lists so i can type in a specific person's um name if i'd like um you know i'm just gonna use um a random name in here um and then i have lists of people so i'm gonna use uh, my list of Team Fit Rescue coaches, for whatever reason, I don't want them to see this. And I'm gonna hit save changes. So it's gonna show this post to all of my friends, except for Sarah and Team Fit Rescue coaches. And I'm gonna hit save changes. And then I'm gonna hit post. And you're not gonna be able to see this post if you're on my coaches list, or you are Sarah, um, who also happens to be on my coaches list. But you know, those two people can't see the posts. So you can block out specific people. But what, but how you create those lists is something interesting also. You can go to anyone's profile. Um, so I'm gonna pick um, a random profile. My friend Sherry, who does a lot of training like this too. I'm gonna leave this page because I'm not gonna post it. And I'm gonna click down on friends. And you're gonna see when I click down on friends that I can add her to another list. So there's all these lists, the ones with the um, lightning bolt next to them, Facebook has created for me because they think that I have a lot of people in these lists. Um, but I have her in my dog rescue friends and she was also one of my challengers. So I can just, anyone you want them in, I can just click challengers, um, dog rescue friends. And now Sherry's in these lists. So I can block Sherry from seeing certain posts if I want. Um, same, so if you're adding someone new to your network, you don't really know them yet, you can put them in a list called maybe new friends. And you can put your posts up so they hit you know, all of your friends sometimes, public sometimes, but it's something private that maybe you don't want this group of new friends to see because you don't know them that well, you can go back and do what I did, which is show custom, you know, show to all my friends, except my list of new friends. So that way you don't have to type in all the names individually. Anyone on that new friends list will be blocked from seeing it. Super interesting, right? Um, so I just want to share this with you guys because I think this is a great feature for those of you worried about privacy. If you have any questions, you can check out JillianKaplan.com and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.